I'm Ina Fried with CNET News here at the Microsoft Professional Developer Conference in Los Angeles, getting a look at the new desktop in Windows 7. I'm joined by Chathania Serene and Rebecca Deutsch, Program Managers on the Windows Desktop Experience Team. They're going to show us the new uh, desktop in Windows 7 and some of the cool new features. So thanks, guys. Sure. We're really, really excited to, to show you some of the new elements of Windows 7. Um, probably the first thing you'll notice when you see the desktop is a, an evolved taskbar. And it's a little bigger uh, than what you've seen before. It's only about 10 pixels bigger, so not that much big. And really reflects the applications you use all the time. And so that's really a very important goal of ours. The things you do day in, day out, launching applications, getting to your files, switching your windows, is really showcased at the bottom of your screen. So let's take this for a spin. Uh, so you see this, here are the icons uh, that represent the programs I use. And um, if I wanted to customize it, it's simple as going to the Start menu, for example, and just dragging my application here, just like you used to do in Quick Launch and XP and Windows Vista as well. Um, so really easy to customize and reflect your style. And when you want to get down to work, all you do is click one of these applications, and it launches. So here's Word. And um, if I bring my mouse to the taskbar, you notice the thumbnail comes up, very similar to Vista. Although we find in Vista, we show people thumbnails, and then we don't let them touch the thumbnail. So that's just not cool. And so uh, just like with Vista, I can restore and minimize uh, Windows. And when I bring my mouse to the taskbar, you get that thumbnail. And now you can click on the thumbnail and actually switch like that. So it's a very natural way to switch. And let's, let's actually get into some more interesting scenarios here. So let's say I open up a file here. And so I have a, I have a file prepared. Um, I'll open that one. And I'll open up another one. Um, Great. And you'll notice on the taskbar, you didn't get a new button for that new window. Uh, instead, you kind of got something that looked like a bunch of tiles that are on top of each other. And if I bring my mouse here, and I'm just hovering, I'm not even clicking, you'll notice both thumbnails come up. And for you advanced users out there, think of this as kind of a contextual alt-tab, right? Just like you would alt-tab to Windows. We just took all those nice, beautiful Vista thumbnails that you saw on alt-tab and put them on the taskbar. And then, kind of con being consistent, I can now just click on these nice, pretty thumbnails, and it's very natural and very uh, efficient to switch the windows I want to get to. Now, I know what some of you folks are thinking. Well, thumbnails are nice, but how would I ever tell the difference between two, these two documents? So let's kind of have fun here. So I have these two documents here, and let's see. Uh, let's go here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna italicize this word selected. And so, of course, if you look here. You're not going to really see that in the thumbnail. And let's get it a little more difficult. Let's open up another window. Let's open up IE and cover these documents. So there's no way you can see these, these windows at all. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my mouse to Word, just hovering. Now, for the, those of you with your eagle eyes there, you'll notice that we actually do have text on top of these windows. And it's just worth mentioning, we actually have a lot more text to show you here than the old taskbar, because in the old taskbar, you have multiple windows on the taskbar competing with, with one another for space. And so you have the dreaded ellipses, a lot of dot, dot, dot. In this case, by only showing you the windows for Word, we show you a lot more space for each of these windows, so text is really recognizable. But we thought we could do better. And so let's say you don't remember the name of the documents. All you do is move your mouse. We call this arrow peak. We're really excited about this. And all I do is I move my mouse from one window to the other, and you notice I can easily see the selected text. And it's a really exciting way to switch windows because I can, for the first time, see the window, its actual location, and its actual size, no matter where it is on the desktop. It's awesome even in multi-mon. If you imagine I have multiple monitors, windows will just appear just in the right place. And one thing we noticed, the reason we call it peak is, think about all the times you switch windows just to quickly get a phone number or get someone's email address and, and, and any little piece of information. We found that now by peaking, what you can do is you can really peek. So you move your mouse there, get the information, and you'll see what I do now is by just moving my mouse away, I'm actually going right back to IE. So again, it's really, if you think about it, we've invented a way to switch windows without switching windows. So really nice and elegant and feels great. And if I open a bunch of other windows here, let's open up Explorer and Media Player, it's just really an elegant experience to switch. And so all you do is just track your mouse across here, and it's just a lightweight experience to find the window you want and to quickly get to what you're looking for. Um, another thing to notice is we've kind of grouped windows. So we have one button really to launch. We have one button to switch. And it got us thinking. It got us thinking about what do we do when we have one button to rule them all. And if you look at the Start menu, the Start menu, as you all know, you use it all the time, the Start menu represents the, the, the applications and the tasks you do all the time. And so we thought, what if we had a mini Start menu for these applications, since we only already had one button? 
and introduce uh, something we're very, very excited about. It's something called Jump List. And so if I right-click, let's say, on Word here, I get a list of the things I do all the time. And I think Rebecca has a, has a fun story of how we kind of view Jump List. Um, 